Today I'm going to show you how you can work with SMT parts and fritzing. Therefore I prepared a sketch with two LEDs and two resistors. And if we go to the PCB view we can see the rectangular PCB. I want to change it to a Arduino shaped one and I will move the connector to the right place. So now here the first LED and the first resistor and here's the second resistor and the second LED. If I now want to change maybe the LED to an SMT part I just have to go to the inspector window and change it from THT to SMD. Fritzing swap this PCB to a double sided PCB with a copper layer on the top and on the bottom side. With this button we can change the view. Now we can only see the bottom traces or the top traces or both. I will change this resistor to an SMD part 2. 0805 and now we can see what is the advantage of SMD parts they are much smaller and we don't have to drill holes so these are the THT parts very big guys and there is not so much space on the PCB for THT parts on the other hand, if you use SMT parts, there's a lot of space on one Arduino shield sized PCB. So I want to use an auto router. And now you can see the yellow traces are on the top side of the PCB, like the SMT parts. And the orange one is on the bottom side of the PCB. So again, we can change the view, bottom side top side or both. In the breadboard view it looks still the same. The THT parts are the representation for THT parts and SMD parts because it's quite hard to place SMD parts on a breadboard, right? <laughs> so yeah, we are quite proud to provide this functionality. Um, there a lot of parts with SMD footprints like for example a transistor I can change it from the standard package to an SMD package so 23 for example or let's take a button there is a SMD representative button or let's take another one maybe A capacitor and we can change it from THT to SMD2. So it's quite easy, even soldering is not too complicated and we hope you enjoy it. So happy fritzing! Bye!